Our next guest made big headlines with her CPAC speech and won new Republican fans when she went after the woman expected to be the lead candidate for the Democrats. Watch this. Like Mrs. Clinton, I too have traveled the globe. <laughs> Unlike Mrs. Clinton, I know that flying is an activity, not an accomplishment. I have met I have met Vladimir Putin, and I know that his ambition will not be deterred by a gimmicky red reset button. Carly Fiorina is the former CEO of Hewlett Packard and chair of the American Conservative Union. Uh, Carly, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, you got a lot of good feedback on your speech yesterday. Uh, when you first started testing these waters, some thought that you were very much a long shot. Um, but it sounds like you're making progress uh, in sort of exposing yourself uh, to a group of potential voters. Uh, how do you feel like it went this week? Well, I've been very encouraged. First of all, I've been coming to CPAC for several years now, and I'm honored to serve as the chairman of the foundation here. And CPAC is just a great event. You know, it brings together conservatives from all across the country to talk about the issues that we all care about. So the event itself is really invigorating and energizing, especially all the young people we have here. As for my own speech, um, I was very pleased with how it was received and just so delighted to have so many people here come up to me and encourage me to run and encourage me to continue to speak out. You have been very bold uh, in the lead up to this and including this speech in, in going directly after Hillary Clinton, former Secretary of State, former Senator, uh, asking her to identify some accomplishments. So how do you respond to your critics who say you haven't held office, um, she has a different kind of experience uh, that may better equip her to run for the White House? How do you respond? Well, I actually think most Americans, a lot of Americans for sure, are sort of tired of professional politicians. And the things that qualify you for high office are an understanding of how to make tough decisions in tough environments, an understanding of how the economy works, an understanding of how the world works, an understanding of how bureaucracies work and how technology can transform them. And I have those experiences. I'm not quite sure when we became a nation that believed that only professional politicians could run for office. It's not how we were founded. Ours was intended to be a citizen government. And because I come from outside the world of politics, I think it's a very fair question to ask people to speak about their results. Outside the world of politics, we actually are expected to produce results day after day. So when I ask Mrs. Clinton, what are your accomplishments? That's the world I come from, where we need to be held accountable for our results. And coming from the world of business, I noted in your speech that you said now in the U.S. it's your opinion that we're destroying more businesses than we are allowing to be created. Um, how would you rectify that? Well, actually, it's not my opinion. It's fact. And indeed, the Gallup uh, poll has identified this as a fact. It's been clear for some time that we are destroying more small businesses uh, than at any time in the last 40 years. And we have to solve it by attacking crony capitalism. Crony capitalism is alive and well. Elizabeth Warren's right about that. The little secret is, of course, that big companies do well with big government and likewise, because big companies can handle all the complexity and all the rules. They can take advantage of all the complexity and all the rules. But meanwhile, small businesses are disappearing because they cannot deal with the complexity, and the powerless are trapped in a web of dependence without sufficient opportunity. So the way to solve these problems is with less government, not more. All right. Carla Fiorina, keep us updated on your decision-making schedule. Good to see you tonight. Thanks for joining us. Great to be with you, Shannon.